Welcome to the morning coffee diet. Look at that. A nice, fresh, hot coffee in the morning, people. Welcome back. I am supporting my Mary Smith Christmas shirt. And there's a reason why I'm wearing this, okay? Now, the reason why I'm wearing this is, guys, we're in a different timeline right now. Right now, you're watching this video on Monday at 10. But technically, I filmed this Friday because right now, as we speak, I'm in Disneyland. Probably walking through Galaxy's Edge. Because in about 10, 20, me and my son, we're going to build a lifesaver together. Yes, yes, we're going to build a lifesaver together. Don't think it's real. I don't think I can... But, guys, I'm going to have fun, and I'm going to try to do some live footages. Uh, I'm bringing my camera with me. I'm going to try to do clips. So you might see a lot of clips. I don't know how it is. But before we, you know, we talk about that, since the coffee is nice and hot, this is the coffee that we're going to try. It's called Umbria. Terra Sana Blend, 100% certified organic. Almost everything is organic. And these are uh, what the beans look like. Got a nice little oil. This is a, a medium roast, and it has a nice oil look to it. So that means it's fresh. Okay. Um, let's see if I can read where it's from. It's a medium roast. Suitable for all brew methods. Well, that's just perfectly because I love to compress coffee. You guys know that. This blend features a delicate, chocolatey flavor with a deep, early undertones. Organic beans from Indonesia and South America are roasted to a medium intensity, producing a smooth and silky finish. Well, guys. Let's find out. Smells good. But I always love to smell the beans before it's brewed. Yeah, good smelling beans. Well, here we go. Okay. Okay, because when you first drink it, you got that uh, big, bold taste where you're thinking when you drink it, you're like, okay, this is going to leave an aftertaste. But, but it, really, it, it really doesn't. So it doesn't really leave an aftertaste, but it's like that big, that big flavor just hits you right at first. It's good. It's not bad. Not bad coffee. Uh, this one that I paid for uh, was actually eleven ninety nine. So it is considered a little bit on the, on the higher edge of my average price that I like to spend on coffee. You know, like I, I told you guys in the last video, six ninety nine to nine ninety nine is usually my range. I look for coffee on sale. Of course, this wasn't. It's eleven ninety nine. So this one is cheaper than the Raven coffee and of course the big bargain one the $13.99 of the last week's coffee the Starbucks winter blend you know um, I will say this is better than the winter blend I actually think it's a little better but of course uh, Raven is still uh, on top makes sense right the Raven was $12.79 um, this is $11.99 then of course the winter blend was thirteen out of nine, but that was a two point five pound bag. So I mean, overall, I would still be buying the winter blend over these three just just because of the price. Because you got to match the flavor and the price, you know. So the flavor is not like, wow, I'm gonna buy this every single time. But it's good coffee. It's decent. It's not something that you know you're gonna write home about. But you know, I'm glad I tasted it. I, I never even heard of this. Before I went to the store, uh, you know, to the store, and that's what I love about the show is, is I, you know, I'm trying coffee for the very first time with you. So so far, I would be buying 
The winter blend because of the price. But flavor-wise, of the three coffees I've done in the last three weeks, I'm going to put the Raven so far on top. I'll put this one number two. And so far, I'll put the winter blend number three. It's kind of weird, right? I put that dead last, but if I was going to buy coffee, I would buy number three over the other two just because of the price and how much coffee you get out of it because they're all good. They're, you know, so far, I've been lucky. Um... Uh, I've been tasting good coffee, um, but good news, good news. I got a good sponsor, no, not a sponsor, nobody's sponsoring me. One of my, uh, one of my uh, subscriber is actually sending me coffee from Manchester, UK. So I'm actually getting some coffee beans from England. Now I'm really excited for that. Um, I can't wait to try it. And another um, subscriber, has actually ordered me uh, some coffee beans from the, uh, the band Social Distortion partners up. You know, a lot of bands, they partner up with people. They partner up, uh, so they're making this coffee. It's called a Ma M Malander uh, that it's from the Social Distortion people where they approve it or whatever. You know, the, the cover, the, when I saw the cover of the coffee, it's got like the social distortion kind of style. Sometimes I wear the social D shirt here. You guys all know I'm a huge social D fan. So I can't wait to get the social D coffee and the British coffee, you know. Um, so, so like I said, it's going to be interesting because I'm actually going on vacation. I'm taking off. Uh, my, my plane leaves Saturday morning. I'm flying to California. And, uh, taking, of course, the kids got to come, you know. It's, is a trip really for them. So basically, what's going to be fun about this trip is, and I'm, I'm going to try to uh, stream live. Uh, I got a program uh, a subscriber told me about that I because I don't have a thousand subscribers, so I can't uh, stream live from a phone. A computer I can. But I'm not going to walk around with, with a computer, but somebody sent me a program. So I'm actually going to try to do some live shots of where I'm at on vacation because Sunday night, Sunday, I'm going, we're spending a night on the Queen Mary ship, okay? The Queen Mary ship is supposed to be a haunted ship. It's an actual ship that's on the dock of Long Beach, California. It's supposed to be haunted. And you, you guys know my other channel, Gypsy Road, I love ghosts. I want to find ghosts. I have yet, I have yet to be experienced by a ghost, seen a ghost, but I really want to see one. I'm, I'm dying to see one, and I'm going to be staying on the ship. I'm going to be welcoming every ghost to come, every single one of them. I, I, I hope I get visited by a ghost. I really, I want to see a ghost. I, I'm a I want to be a believer. I have a brother in Manchester who was, uh, who said he's actually in a haunted house. I want to see a haunted house. I mean, I don't want to hear, but I want to see it. I want something to happen. I want to hear weird noises. I want to experience that. As long as they don't put a knife against my throat, I'm fine. Okay? So that's Sunday. And then Monday to Friday, uh, I'm going to be at Disneyland. Um, very excited for Galaxy's Edge. I want to see the new Star Wars land. We already made a schedule where we're going to build a lightsaber. Now, I found out that these lightsabers are not cheap. These lightsabers are $200 for a lightsaber. Now, first of all, I want to explain something. I know some of you are like, did you get laid off? Yes. We planned this trip since over a year ago in October, where we booked this trip through Costco Travel, and we, it's already been paid for. So I know it's weird going on a vacation, it seems like, when you're laid off, because you got to watch your money. But this trip's already been paid for, and it's not refundable. So, you know, that's why I bring my laptop. I'm gonna still be looking for work, job. I'm, you know, I'll do interviews. Be weird, walk to Disneyland, doing interview on the phone. But I'll do it. I'm gonna do whatever I can. But I will be in California, and we're gonna build one lightsaber. Uh, so hopefully for 200 bucks, that I could chop somebody's leg off with it. You know, somebody who's cutting a line. Zoom, zoom. I sure it doesn't have that much power for 200 bucks. This better do something. Maybe, hopefully, maybe uh, uh, this lightsaber I can stir coffee with it. So hey. That's what I'm going to be looking for. I'm going to be looking for some kind of special coffee shop at Disneyland. I know they actually have a Starbucks, but I don't want to go to Starbucks at Disney. I want some Disney coffee. So I'm really hoping that I can do a coffee of the week in Disneyland. So, you know, you'll see two of these videos in a week, which is great. That'd be fantastic. So, so we're doing that for the whole week. 
Uh, Monday to Friday, we're, uh, five nights, uh, we're staying at the uh, Disney Grand. We're going to test it out to see how, you know, how it is. Uh, so it's going to be a very exciting course for the kids to have fun. Um, I've never seen the Galaxy's Edge section of the park, so I'm, I'm very excited. I want to fly that Millennium Falcon. I already told uh, my daughter and my wife, you know, what duties they're going to do on this ship. You know, you're going to have two, you're going to have two shooters. You're going to have two uh, uh, pilots and two engineers. I'm a pilot. I'm flying the thing, okay? My daughter wants to fly. If I told her, you like to shoot. You're a shooter. I go, my daughter, you're a shooter. Trust me. I need you to shoot people down. I can see you. If she wants to be a pilot, we'll see how it goes. Because I know one thing. I'm flying it, okay? I'll have a co-pilot. You know, hopefully I can go on there and if I can live stream on a phone, I'll live stream that. I really want to live stream it. I want to live stream a lot of stuff, so hopefully I can. Uh, and then um, we're going to spend one day, I think on a Monday or Sunday, I can't, I can't remember, but we're going to spend one day at Universal Studios. Uh, we bought these passes. It's, it's like a what there's a pass to get in and there's a pass where uh, you could go front of line one time for each ride because we don't you know Universal Studios for me is perfect just for one day so so I don't mind spending a little extra getting that kind of a ticket since we're only going to be there one day we can experience we don't have to stand two three hours in a line we can see everything we can we go so hopefully I could uh, I can shoot some things uh, you know, hopefully I can shoot some things uh, during my experience. You know, cut some videos together. I'm bringing this camera with me. This beautiful $100 Canon camera that you're watching me on right now. Uh, maybe I cut things together. Maybe I create a movie on the ghost ship or something. Another ghost movie, which is on my Tipsy Road channel. You know, that stuff is fun. So, so I'm hoping to really have fun on this trip. And I want to share it with a lot of my subscribers. Um, like I said, I want to thank one of my subscribers for giving me uh, uh, an app called StreamYard that I had never tried. I'm going to try it, see if I can StreamYard because I don't have a thousand subscribers, which that's fine. Subscribers I do have, I appreciate you. Uh, I'm glad you're here with me right now. Um, you guys notice I just put up a, a, a Star Wars video uh, just recently. The Star Wars video is basically, I'm looking at the Star Wars as a whole. I'm breaking uh, certain things down in the movie, and I'm using clips. I'm just not talking about it. I'm showing clips of stuff that happened in the movie so you can see where I'm coming from and where a lot of angry fans are coming from. So you just don't hear it. You actually have a vision on what's going on, and that's very uh, that's very exciting to me. So I'm, I'm hoping that you guys – sometimes usually those kind of videos – I, I do cross-reference those videos on my Gypsy Road channel also, just so, uh, because, you know, this is my wonderful coffee channel, but when I do videos like movie reviews and stuff, sometimes I'll put them on both channels because, you know, they crisscross, they rhyme. Like like the Star Wars video I just made about rhyming. They rhyme. So that's why sometimes you'll, if, you, you're, if you're subscribed to both channels, that's why sometimes there's certain kind of shows, I'll put them on both. This kind of show only stays on Morning Coffee Diet. I'm not going to put this on Gypsy Road. You know, Gypsy Road is my journey channel. About the journey. About, you know, some politics. Some of that kind of stuff. Here, this ain't no politics. This is about having a community, just talking to you, having a good time. And, man, I, I really can't wait for this vacation. We, we planned this since October. And everything that, that we've gone through, I mean, I mean, really. I feel like we need it. Not just being laid off, you know. Uh, having my brother who became my sister. You guys know that story. You know, the death. Some of this trip is actually paid for with her, uh, with the death and all that. It's kind of, I'm not going to get into it. So it's, it's, it's a well-needed trip. We didn't do no summer trips this year, uh, no winter breaks. We kind of told the kids, you know, we're going to save it all for this. And thank God we pay for it through Costco. Travel plan, because uh, you know, being you know, you don't know when you're gonna get laid off. You don't know because once you're laid off, your whole world's changed. That money dollar changes because unemployment don't last forever. You know, so I'm glad this is paid for, and you know, just 
getting, you know, escaping reality for a little bit. That's, you know, like I said, drinking coffee, you know, gives you a little break in life. This vacation is my little break in, in, in the whole world of life. So um, I'm just hoping to have a good time. And so I can't tell you how many video clips I'm going to try to shoot out, but I'm going to shoot out as much as I can because this is fun. And uh, who are following me, I want you to experience this with me. So uh, I ho hopefully you watch some of those videos. I don't know what those are going to be yet. You know, I'm going to try to do another Coffee of the Week next week at Disney. And then uh, uh, when I'm at Universal Studios, maybe I'll find some kind of a special coffee there in your shop. And then I'll do a uh, Coffee of the Week there. And, uh, you know, uh, one of my uh, subscribers uh, from Manchester, UK, they, they actually so nice. They invited me to go to uh, England, you know, to to visit and say hi and all that. And uh, my family, we, we're putting something together. We're going to do our best to actually try to go to England. We all got our passports, you know. So we're going to try to go to England. And, man, you know, sometime in the summer next year, that would be some good filming right there. You know, a lot of you guys know, me and my family, you know, we like to make some <laughs> movies together, some fun stuff, just to – we just like to goof around, you know. We made a Star Wars movie. Uh, we made a horror movie on my other Gypsy Road channel. So if I get up there, we're, we're going to be making some more movies. Uh, maybe by then, I got a lot more subscribers. And maybe I get some better equipment where I don't have to use movie clips to put in to to fit to create the movie. Where maybe somehow the channel grows enough where maybe I get enough Patreon where. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a fund me account. That that'd be fun, right? Uh, that I'll do a fund me account to create the greatest horror movie of all time, you know, and actually film it in London. That'd be awesome, you know. Um, that'd be awesome. A lot of you who see my horror movie or my uh, Star Wars movie, guys, know that you know my brother's a hell of an actor. He's a hell of a talker, you know. I can make you know he'll be the lead in this movie. Uh, maybe I can hire some actors in it. I mean, I have visions of, of, of doing stuff like this. And and what the hell? I'm going to do it. I mean, right now I'm laid off. I want to have fun. I'm looking for work and all that. I'm, I'm hard. But while I'm laid off, I'm not going to sit here and cry about being laid off. I want to do things. I want to have fun. You're going to go through the experience with me. Um, if some of you know how to create a FundMe account, you know, go ahead. Let me know. Um you help me out with that. Uh, help me build one. I, I don't know. I, I'm not an expert. I'll be honest. But I got some great subscribers. Like I said, you already gave me StreamYard uh, on my other channel. A subscriber helped me to uh, stream in my brother. So we do some live shows from Manchester in the USA. So at the same time, you're watching a person that's from Seattle, Washington. And you're watching a person that actually is from uh, Manchester, UK. So it's kind of fun to get a perspective of what's going on. On both sides of the country, right? I'm just not reading about it. I'm actually asking somebody about it who's actually there. So it's very exciting. So a lot of good, exciting stuff coming along. So just stick with me. Uh, tell your friends about this channel. Tell everybody. Tell your family. You know, let, let's let's have fun. Let's really build this from scratch. You know, in the morning coffee diet. Let's let's do this. I wanna I wanna drink coffee all over the United States. I wanna try coffee. In other countries, I want to try that coffee that's eaten by a cat and it poops it out and they do something and it's clean. It's supposed to be one of the best coffee in the world. I want to try that coffee. So together, we could do this. And I want to meet some of you subscribers, you know. Um, you know, send me your email address. You know, send pictures. I want, this is going to be a fun community that we're building together. So I want to thank you very much who's joining me right now. And uh, I'm sorry that this one ain't live. But, you know, sometimes we all got to take a vacation in life. But I'm so, like I said, I'm trying to do some live shows there. I'm going to try to see if it work. And if I can't, I'll use this camera. I'll film it. I'll pop it in my laptop at night and I'll put something together. So thank you very much. And, guys, seriously, have a great week. Have a great weekend. Be safe. All right? Be safe. This is Merry Sithmas. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, baby.